So in this question, we need to figure out whether an estimate of how long a trip would take was within half an hour of how long it actually took. Now we know that the time a trip takes is the ratio of the distance to the average speed. Knowing just one of those couldn't possibly be sufficient to answer anything. So neither statement is sufficient on its own and we're down to just two answer choices, C and E. Let's explore that further right after this. So I think these statements were designed very cleverly because if you look at the ratio of 5 miles to 10 miles per hour, you get exactly a half an hour, which is what the question was asking about, right? Was the estimate within half an hour of the truth? And so I think a lot of people would probably pick C here because they're thinking, yeah, together these statements lead us to exactly what we wanted to know. The problem is it's not that simple. You see, more generally, if you have a ratio and you're adding or subtracting an actual amount, an actual quantity from either the top or the bottom of the ratio, the impact of doing so will be a mystery if you don't know the actual amounts in your original ratio. For example, if you have a ratio of one to two, we don't know if that's actually one and two, or maybe it's 100 and 200, or a million and two million, but you have a ratio of one to two, and then I tell you we're adding 30 to the numerator, what would be the impact of adding 30 on the ratio that we're looking at? If the true numbers were one and two, adding 30, well now the ratio is 31 to two, or 15 and a half to one, but if the true numbers were actually a million and two million, what's, what impact would adding 30 have on this ratio? Practically no impact at all, because 30 is just such a small fraction of the original starting point. And that's conceptually the reason why, even if we combine these statements, we can't possibly answer the question. It's just that adding or subtracting five miles from the top is meaningless if I don't know what the top was to begin with. And if it was a million miles, then plus or minus five is practically no difference at all. But if it was 10 miles, adding five to that is like 50% more. Subtracting five, you're cutting it in half. That's a big impact. So the problem is we don't know what kind of impact going up or down by five miles would have on the numerator. And the same goes for the denominator. So we can't really make any interesting inferences about the ratio of the estimates. So I really think that if we have a deep conceptual understanding of how additive changes impact a ratio, namely we don't know how they impact the ratio, if we really get that, then we really don't need any pen and paper for this question. We can just go ahead and pick E and move on to the next one. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.